Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be creating something interesting and then um, what you see on your screen is what we are going to be creating today. So, if this is what you want to create, stay tuned. Okay, so we are back in Canva and the first thing we are going to do is to create a design and um, as usual, you need to always choose the dimension you want to use. Okay, so um, like I always say, it depends on what you are trying to create. If you want to use the same dimension I'm using, that's totally fine. If not, you know, you can choose any dimension at all you want. So I'm using the 1080 by 1350. Okay, so. I already have it open here and that's where I'm just going to come to so you can see I already have these images downloaded and I got them from clipart.com okay so k-l-i-p-a-r-t-z clipart.com and um, yeah I think one thing I would even do is um, I'm going to have a special Google um, Drive folder okay and um, I'll just be throwing in all the elements I get to use so that you know it's easier for anyone at all to just go in there and i'm not going to be creating separate folders because i just want to keep things uh maybe i'll just see what i can do okay so just to get started the first thing i am going to do is to you know import my first photo so all i searched for on clip art was messy okay because that's his name so i just searched for him on um, clip art and i got this image a number of them but these this one in particular was um the one that really caught um you know that really caught me okay so this is the first um image i'm going to add and the second one i'm going to add is the gradient background i always use so this would also be in the google folder okay so um okay okay i'm having an idea of how the folder should be organized okay so don't worry so I add this okay and I'm going to make it bigger okay and I'll stretch it okay and I'm going to you know increase I'm just going to you know bring it this way and I'll double click okay and I stretch it so you can see we can still see mercy but before we start making duplicates of this particular uh, gradient what I'll do is I'll click on the gradient and come to effect okay so in effect um we are going to use the dual tone effect so you double click on the dual tone effect and you can see the highlight and the shadows okay so we are going to change both colors to get the same color okay so if it's white we just need to make sure that both colors are given us um white okay so you can see how it's looking right now then i just duplicate uh, okay one thing about um using dual tone okay that i i've come to realize that, that after you change the colors you need to wait for your design to save okay else if you make duplicates most of the time it's not really going to um it's not really going to work okay so yeah you can also note that down so you can see i've added um a duplicate okay or i duplicated the gradient and i've selected both gradients okay then i'll just group them okay so this is what we have at the moment so they become one element okay and it makes it easier to move them around so that's what i'm going to use and um, the next thing i'm going to do is just to go up okay and i'm going to select this photo of mercy also and i'll put it here okay and I reduce the size to something like this and I'll select the other one also you know and I also reduce the size you know, here and I'll just bring it here okay then I select the gradient and I make a duplicate and I move it to the bottom you know, down here okay so you can see what it is so the image was we applied no not applied but we added the image first okay then the second thing we added was um, the gradient and we um applied the dual tone effect 
to get to just change the color okay to white then we added the two photos okay and apply the gradient again so that's all you know we we just have to do then what i'm going to do is to um go into my text okay sorry so text and i'll add a heading and with this since it's about football we need to choose um a font that would actually make it stand out so we have something like um bebas okay bebas would um oh b-e-b-a-s okay yeah bebas nui or i don't know how it's pronounced but okay so this is what we have then i can just say what's his full name let me just come here and search for his full name uh, his name is Lionel Messerson. Okay, yeah. L I O N E L. So L I O N E L N E S S I. Okay, so I select him and I just make it bigger. And I'll make it bolder also. So we have um, something like this. Okay. Then since he was in Barcelona. For a very long time, maybe I can add, um, I can add the Barcelona logo. So maybe let me just um, go into clip arts rather. Okay, so K L I P because with clip arts it's easier for me to get. Um, okay, Barcelona. It's easier for me to get a high quality, you know, um, PNG image. Okay, so you can see. So I can just select this one, and um, I come down and click on download png for free and once you do that it would be rolling a little bit but there would be this um capture thing uh, okay okay it didn't even ask me anything this time around okay then that's fine so we come back and we add you know the logo to our design and you can do this for your favorite um you know player i'm not i'm not a messy fan to be honest with you I do not support Barcelona. No, I don't. And I have my own my my personal reasons. Just let me know what's your favorite team in the comment section. I'd really really love to know what your favorite team is. Yeah. So that if we can have a debate why you should stop following your favorite team, we would have that. Okay. So I can put the Barcelona logo below here and I'll add a second new text. So this one can be Montserrat or something like that. Okay. Um Montserrat. M O N T. Okay, so this is what we have. I don't know if Messi is still in Barcelona. I don't know. Let me just see. Because I want to add some uh, and a little bit of details and stuff like that. Uh, okay, look, it's, this is not really necessary. After all, there's a template. So let's say he joined Barcelona in 1996 to uh, 2020 or 2020. So maybe we can put it here. Okay. I can, yeah. Okay. Then maybe another thing I can do is. Uh, I can duplicate the sticks, okay. And uh, this time around, I'll use the Montserrat Classic. So, um, let me use Montserrat Classic. And I can see <laughs> champions live forever. I don't know who made this quote, but I'll just consider this to be an African geek quote, okay. Yeah, so that's what we have at the moment and I'm going to add a number of things here so I would add this okay a rectangle and I'll just rotate it stretch this and pull this down and I want to use the Montserrat you know the Barcelona um, you know their colors then I duplicate 
okay because i just want to use t- you know the two colors and i think the red or something of that sort yeah that's a barcelona thing so i'll right click and send this to back right click and send this one also to back okay so you can see how it's looking so i drag this one up a little bit in this wood we have at the moment i love this so position and center okay and maybe i'll just increase this a little bit okay so i'm sure it's from here because i'm seeing okay okay so i have fixed it now then you, if you want okay if you want to um select the element behind you hold control and you keep clicking okay so, so you can see i'm now um, selected it so i use my arrow key to move it a little bit and this is what i have now so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i really enjoyed making this tutorial with you and um, with this look i would really really love to see your version okay and um maybe let's do one more thing i press on the rectangle again and um you know put this here and control okay and i change this to the blue so we have this and yes this is what we wanted to create in canva and if you enjoy this give this video a like if you want more interesting canva tutorials you can subscribe if you want the name is benjamin and i will definitely and personally see you in my next video